Hey, Steve Noble here of Noble Moto. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to change out the uh, front fork springs on 2012 883 iron. Uh, got some progressives. I'm um, going to drop them in there. Uh, better spring, better in stock, a little more performance oriented, and all that stuff. Uh, really could do this in your garage, basic hand tools. Um, only specialty thing you're going to need is an inch and 3 8 socket or inch and 3 8 wrench. Uh, not super common that most people have them but they are available at your local auto parts store if you have to just go get a wrench or a socket. Uh, it's nice if you have a socket and a big three eighths, three quarter inch drive, but you can do it either way. Big thing is you just gotta get the thing on a stand and uh, you gotta get your front wheel off the ground so you're unloaded the front suspension. That's pretty much it, let's get right to it. Nobody likes to hear me talk. All right, first thing we're gonna do, uh, pull the, um, break all the uh, Allen's loose on the um, front clamp here. I pre-set up some zip ties, that way we can hold the uh, handlebars in place uh, once I get them off without having them flip all over the place, so we'll just get right to that. Loosen up all your bolts evenly here. All right, gonna throw a towel over the paint, like so, and then remove the handlebars. All right, what I ended up doing here was uh, I unbolted the handlebars, and I put them back here up against this towel to keep anything from scratching them, and then uh, I took zip ties and looped them around the mirror, back around the bolts here, and back around, around the mirror, back around the bolts here, and what that does is that'll keep the bars supported, supported while still giving me access to the fork caps down here. Next step here, I'm gonna loosen up these bolts here uh, that hold the uh, top of the fork clamp on. Then we're gonna break these. All right, back on the main camera. What we're gonna do now, we loosen up the clamp bolts, the top clamps on the triple tree. We're gonna leave the bottom ones in place to hold everything in there. Got our handlebars off, attached by the zip ties. Now we're gonna break the top cap bolts free. Uh, they actually hold the forks in. Now when you unthread these, you want to be careful when you get those last couple threads because there is tension on them and you, you want to hold down on the cap as you're taking it off. Otherwise that last little bit could pop the cap off of there and strip out that last one or two threads, which could make a nightmare to fix. So here we go with this. I'm going to climb on the lift here and see if the Harbor Freight lit rate is really rated for me and the bike. So far so good. Now, I'm going to break the left one free. And we're just going to back her all the way out. I'm going to lean down on it for those last couple turns to help hold it in place. There we go. So, here there was a little pop there. I'm just going to set that right there on the blanket. I'm going to go to the right side one. Same scenario. The reason we undid these clamps up here is they could potentially be squeezing and pinching the cap down on the fork tube, pressing the fork tube in slightly. And that could make for binding. So, got two caps off. I'm gonna try and get off the bike without falling to my death. And uh, then we'll pull the fork springs out. Fork caps here in a safe, clean, and dry spot. Now we got preload spacers here. I'm gonna pull those out. We can discard those. Ta-da! And as we pull the fork springs out, we're gonna take a screwdriver and stick it through them to hold them up because there's oil on the fork springs. And it's very important with your forks to have oil, you're the equal amounts of oil in both fork tubes. So we're gonna lift them up a little bit, let any oil that's on them drain back down, and go the other side, let any oil that's on them drain back down, so on and so forth. All right, back on here. Had to make a little precision tool here. Um, as you can see, is a very technical precision wire coat hanger that I bend a little hook on the end of. So we're gonna use that, reach in there to hook the spring. Whoop. Pull it right up out of there. 
Now, like I said, this thing is covered in oil. So we're going to pull it up out a little bit. Now I'm going to use a screwdriver here, a clean one, to support it right in there. Now that's that drain a little bit. Hopefully it all just runs down the fork tube there. Then over the other side, do the same thing. All right, here, <clears throat> got the old spring right here. You can see the uh, approximate winding of it. In relation, we've got the new springs here. You can tell it's a much heavier gauge, uh, varying rings and diameters and all the technical, whatever, they're better. I don't know, I'm not a spring guy. So, old springs are out, new springs are right here. We're gonna slide them right in, just like we did before. Same way we took them out. We're actually gonna put the uh, progressive end up on top just because I believe that moves a little bit more. Less chance of it foaming that way. Ever so slightly drop it down in there. Same with the other side. Drop them down in there. Now from there, we took these old tubes out. These were preload spacers. Uh, we're saying the uh, tension and the ride height on the spring. Um, Progressive sends us uh, two new tubes to cut up ourselves. Uh, they're white pieces of PVC. A piece of PVC. Uh, if you read through the instructions, they give you links to set them per your spring rate and per your bike. These were twos and three quarter inches. So it's white PVC. If you screw it up, go to the hardware store, buy more. Make sure it's nice and deburred here on the end. Slide these back down, just like so. Whoop, I'm sorry. There's supposed to be a washer inside each one in between there. Take the washer, put down top of the spring, put the spacer in there. Washer on top of the spring, Spacer in there. Ta-da! Pretty much from there, grab your inch and three-eighths socket. Grab your caps. Make sure they're clean. Make sure your seals aren't damaged. Ever so carefully balance them on the gas tank. Uh, then the next step would be climb up on the bike and try not to fall to your death. Remember, don't grab the handlebars. They're not bolted on. Ah. Whew. Halfway there. Now this is the tricky part. You want to make sure these are square to the fork tubes when you reinstall them. So I'm going to insert them here. And then what I'm going to do to make sure it line up is actually spin it backwards ever so slightly a little bit just to kind of make sure it's seated. And then we're going to push down but turn with a really light hand as to not cross thread anything. and the threads should pick it up and pull it down in. There we go. Real light. We got to push down hard, but other than that, it's a real light turning hand. Make sure nothing's binding up, and you'll feel the threads pick up as you clamp it on down. One side, snug. Other side, take a moment, make sure your hands are clean. Make sure everything's lined up square. Make sure it feels like it's seen down square. This is probably one of the most important steps of the whole thing. You can feel the threads pick up. Go a little bottoms out, give it a good twist. Check your manufacturer's recommendations for the appropriate torque specs. I'm just going to make them tight. You should torque them to spec. Now, get off the bike without falling to your death. All right, and we are back. Fork clamps are on there. Or fork caps are on. They're tight. We're now going to tighten up the bolt on the fork clamp. Actually holds the fork in place. Bottom one's still tight. Check your manufacturer's recommendations for the torque specs. Don't trip over the bucket on your floor. 
Tighten up this side. Two specs. All right. Forks are back on, springs are back in, everything's sealed up. Next step, this is where the balance act comes in. Try to hold everything in place. Remove your handy dandy little zip tie jury rig that you had going on there. Back the bolts out on your speed on your handlebar clamp slash speedo mount. Loosen that up ever so carefully. Set that down as do not scratch the paint. Bring your handlebars around. Lift the clamp up. Drop your handlebars down into place. Get the bolts, get at least two bolts started in there. Hold the clamp in place. You can move around back and there's usually some witness marks on there right to where it was lined up at. If not, I'll have to get out a tape measure. But we're going to start them all in there by hand. Try and keep it centered. Drop the Allen wrench on the floor. Then tighten them all down. Once we get too snug, everything should stay in place. Now we can step back and make sure it's all lined up. Step back. Make sure your clamps are lined up, bars are straight, witness marks are where they were before. Snug down the last two bolts and go around tighten them all in a concentric cross pattern. You know, like the lug nuts on your car. You want to snug them all up first because if you just fully tighten down one side, the clamp will cock a little bit. The bolts will actually tighten them up on themselves and then your handlebars will never be tight. Little tip on that, if you tighten them down evenly, uh, you won't need Loctite or anything in there. Uh, you'll get extremely secure clamp, even if you run big apes. Well, moderate size apes. Of course, torque these down to manufacturer's specifications. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. That's how you replace fork springs in a uh, Harley Davidson or really most any motorcycle out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, click the link below uh, for a subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, uh, check out my website, www.noblemoto.com. Uh, you can sign up for classes and workshops. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, shoot me an email uh, and want to see a video about something. Either throw in the comments below or uh, send me an email. I'm also on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash noble moto. And Instagram, noble underscore moto dot com. By the way, noble has a K on it. K-N-O-B-L-E. Probably should have spelled that out earlier. There you have it. Ride fast, take chances.